all right, y'all, life moves at you fast. I do not understand what's going on right here. The Seattle Seahawks are making some crazy moves, uh, letting go of guys, bringing other guys back and everything like this. They bring back a blast from the past. This was the first season that I covered the Seattle Seahawks was the last season that Jaron Reed was in town there, and that man was the truth. Jaron Reed is one of those guys, at least – Earlier on in his career, he could get you double-digit sacks for sure. Darren Jaren Reed is a straight-up monster. When he left, I did not understand, but obviously uh, I was betting he was going to get a big contract uh, leaving Seattle. I didn't really hear much about the man, though, in the last couple of years. I actually forgot he even existed. So going back, let's go back and see what he was up to right here, at least from a stat gawker perspective here. Uh, your man... Yeah, so that was that 2020 season. So I've been at it, damn. Yeah, three seasons. Three seasons covering Seattle Seahawks, at least for the parts of three seasons there. His last year, he had six and a half sacks. Damn, he didn't total that in the last couple of years there. And he played a decent amount of games right there. So he was in Green Bay last year. He went to Kansas City for one year? Wow. Wow. That man was the truth. He should have never left Seattle. Look at that shit. He had 10 and a half sacks one year. Uh, he can get after it, man. Uh, they're building that quality depth. At the very least, you know, your man, Jaron Reed, is definitely one of these guys who can start at a one technique. He can shade a little bit. Not your prototypical 330-pound cat. However, uh, man, maybe it's time out for that. Or maybe they still have one of those guys left in the draft. Uh, to me, if you're going to get one of those 330-pound cats, you know, if you're a guy like Jaron Reed, I have to see what Jaron Reed, how many years he was signed for. I'm sure if he could be a long-term answer or whatever like that, but at least for the immediate future there, uh, him playing next to a Draymond Jones and the guys that have out of edge. Uh, yeah, you could probably get one of those pure one technique types uh, later on in the draft, like uh, the Polynesian polar bear I called him before, Siaki Ika. He used to play for the Louisiana Tigers, Louisiana State University. Uh, maybe somebody like him. I would still look at a cat like Jervon Dexter, though. Right, He's probably best off at a five technique, but he lined up all across the guitar string as well, and he can give you some of that action right there. Pause. <laughs> at a one technique. Uh, man, I don't know. This is... Yeah, this is this is this is pretty dope, man. Seattle has to be the the king of bringing players back. I swear, it feels like you can play for the Seattle Seahawks three and four times in your career, as we've seen uh, from quite a few people, even Quentin Jefferson, who just got released again. So uh, there you have it. I don't know what this means for the draft, man. I'm done even trying to figure this shit out. Right? They're just gonna have to surprise everyone there. Uh, but I would think Jaron Reed would be a very good addition. You know he gets after it if he's still that same player as he was before. And maybe he's the prodigal son. Just like the prodigal son, I've returned. But yeah, let me know what you think about that man going back to the Seattle Seahawks to do some damage and to wreak havoc on the inside. Uh, they got to get that run game stuffed. And he's definitely a person who can help with that. All right, let me know. It's your boy, Mid Atlantic Murph, checking in every two minutes. Strike the band. What more can I say? Top billing. Top billing.